This is my Bull Quartzen Black Mamba. I've done a video on this before, if I'm not mistaken, but I just wanted to take another quick look at it. This is based off of the Ruger Mark IV. It's a really nice gun. Some things I was kind of freaked out about when I first saw this was the six inch barrel. I had the option for another one, but I decided I decided to go ahead and go with this one. They do have like a two inch version. I was contemplating buying just so I could add a suppressor and it wouldn't look so long. I do shoot this suppressed most of the time. It's a nice little setup. My favorite part is that two pound trigger. The coolest part I think besides loving the trigger is this bolt. Let me see if I can pull it back. That's a really nice bolt. That's the first gun I've seen with that setup. Oddly enough, it just has a very basic red and white fire and safe position. Put it in the safe position, uh, provided the bolt is in, you just push that button, flips up. For the 13 plus hundred dollars I paid for this, I would have liked to have had the ambidextrous option. I get that not most people are awesome left-handed people, but it would be a cool option to have. Also, an uh, option for grips. I know you can always buy some, but that's with most things. I would have liked for this to have come with maybe just an additional set of grips, something different. Again, you're paying $1,300 for this, so asking for just a little extra doesn't seem like I'm asking for the world. Mine did come with this fiber optic sight. I know the Scorpions don't have a rail or sights. They just have uh, places for the optics. I didn't like that one mainly because you end up with just a bunch of holes. I'm not sure if they come with plates that you can use to cover up those holes when you're not using them. So you have one optic, but you don't have one in the front. So you don't want to have those exposed. I just didn't like the way it looked overall. I thought this one looked a lot nicer. Four inch. I think are pretty common. So I decided to go with the six inch. I knew it was gonna be just more for accuracy. So I figured longer sight radius would be a little bit cooler to have. I don't mind the sights. I think they're actually pretty decent. I will be putting another red dot on this. I had one on there. I took it off to put it on another gun. This one shot pretty well without it anyway. And the distances I was shooting uh, were, you know, I didn't feel the need for a red dot. And at the time I wasn't using it for live critters. So a moving target wasn't an issue either. If you have the funds or if you don't, if you wanted to save up for some, I think this is a really cool option. The alternative would be to get a Mark IV and just install the Volkorts and Trigger pieces in it. They do have a somewhat of a setup for Volkorts and where generally speaking, I mean, all the functional parts would be pretty close. But what I think makes this is the actual upper, uh, which is why I decided to buy this instead of upgrading a Ruger, which w originally was my thought, because I saw some of those that come with the slide cuts, the green and red, and I forgot what other color. But I decided not to because you really can't get an upper like this. And I thought it was pretty cool. This is the serialized part, which again is unique. And it does have that really cool muzzle brake. I think it just adds a lot to the look. I'm not sure if it makes a huge difference uh, at all when it comes to any sort of compensation with the gases because it's 22. So it's really hard to notice any difference. It's not going to be much if it is. I've never really paid attention to it when I have shot it. Just because of the weight, uh, it's got really good balance, but the weight and the fact that it's 22, I mean, you really don't notice the recoil that much anyway, if at all. This is the tool that comes with it. Now, mine's got a little bit of rust on it. I just have it in my bag, my range bag. I know people freak out that I just throw things in my bags, but again, I'm a shooter. I actually enjoy shooting my guns. This one did get a little banged up on the side, but I just put some alumina blue on there or Illumina Black, I think. And it covered that up real nice. But overall, this is one of my favorite 22s to shoot. Uh, it's just a little bit of oil. It's not scratched up or anything.
There you go. And I would shoot this more often when I'm out on the road, just going to different ranches and things. But the length, it's a little too long for me to do that. I mean, I can, it's just inconvenient. I can't just have it on me, pull over, take it out, take a shot. Uh, because I like to have things in my glove box and this won't fit in my glove box. So that kind of kills that. So maybe the two inch would be my future. I am though considering getting a rifle from Bob Quartzen just to have the pair and maybe sell one of my other ones. I don't want to have too many 22s. I already have too many guns and I only say too many because I have no space for them in my uh, safe any longer. I'm always having to figure things out. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to go ahead and show a target right now on the screen. This is at about 10 yards, I think it was, uh, when I went to the range the other day. Uh, it's fun to shoot, like I said. It's pretty accurate. This is not match grade ammo. This is just standard CCI ball ammo. I will try some like the Federal Gold Match and those types of, of ammunitions in the future. See if I can get better groupings with that.